just behind Old Faithful. Walkways, the thermal area, yeah. the stream. Crystal clear, bluish water. There's stones and rocks on the bottom. It's got to be at least 10 feet deep. You can see. Really? Oh, yeah. I can see it. Going down. The hammer is going to be. You can see the from the top. We're still just right up from where we were. We're just on a boardwalk here. It's amazing. It looks like the ground and floor leading up to it is like just a couple inches thick. Paper thin, yeah. yeah. Paper thin, and you just have water right underneath. It looks like if you step close to it, you would just go right through. thermal pools and we learned at the visitor center that a quarter of the entire world's geysers are right here right around the visitor center around old faithful and here is castle geyser Well, two per day are typically recorded. Two eruptions per day. Huh. There's another angle of Castle Geyser with the bo boiling water. Ugh. starting to get bubbly here on this side. And it was Torta Tortoise Shell Spring was the small spring over to the right, right off of um, this geyser, Ooh. Castle Geyser. So we're looking at these blue pools, and Chris is going to read what it says. Yeah, so this is the crested pool, and out of the ones that we've seen so far, it's really, it's like the brightest blue, and they have just a little description on the board here. Bring that over, they won't hear me. It said that the spring's intense blue color results when sunlight passes into its clear waters. Blue from the rainbow of colors and visible light is scattered the most, and therefore, that's the color that we see. Hmm. Interesting. Here are more thermal activity much more. You can see right here this, this geyser up there at the top you can see the water running off it. And the orange goes right into that stream. Some more of this activity you can just see these craters smoking. Here's 
that little geyser we walked up to the top here. It's coming out of a pool, actually. Oh, is it coming out of a pool? Okay, sure. Love this stream. And that water's so clear. You almost feel like you shouldn't be allowed to walk this close, <laughs> but you are. I'll, I'll get more footage when I get to the other side here. Here we are, walking right through the mist. Oh, it's a little stinky, folks. I know, I know. <laughs> like a little stinky. A little stinky, a little cloudy. So you get the full experience. That's what we're all about, right, Chris? Right. Full experience. Get you right if it stinks for me, it's going to stink for you. Farther up the walk, you can see Old Faithful from the back. It's going off again. I've been here a while now. Huh. You probably hear these pools. They are just bubbling. I know, I really like the sense of spasmodic geyser. Seems kind of fantastic. Looks like Old Faithful in the background is coming down. Still going a little bit. Breezy. Ooh. Okay. It's a little breezy up here today, so you can really see the steam blowing. Yeah, that's kind of interesting, right? Alright. So Chris has decided that spasmodic, this is the same one we were just looking at. Spasmodic is his favorite. He says it looks like burnt marshmallows. It's very inviting. <laughs> you don't even like marshmallows. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but most people do. <laughs> Speaking for the masses here. Speaking saying. for the masses, I know. Give the people what they want. And today it's burnt marshmallows and Yellowstone. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is the Belgian pool. We just keep walking along. There's a ton to see, but this one you can see some of the other colors, which I believe is from bacteria. Is that right, Chris? What? When you can see the oranges? Yes. Or microbes? Yeah, when there's trillions of them, they pile up and form these different layers that we're seeing, different colors. We're gonna do it all. Big pool right there. All right, well, take a quick look at that. yeah, let's go check that out. So we walked up to the next set of geysers here. This one's called West Triplet Geyser. This one actually looks dried out right now. Um, maybe you know if we can see farther down, there's there's water down there. But Bubbling. Yeah, that's a, a, a little guy off on his own behind that. 
use the water obviously but then the, the minerals that come with this kind of water end up sticking with them so they uh, they actually it blanches the trees okay well I think that's all we're gonna see here a lot more so you could easily spend a day or two just walking these paths and checking out all these guys. There's a lot more here than we expected. Yeah, I think we it's underestimated lovely. it, but we still have, it's a lot of driving through the park and we still have, we want to see the Grand Prismatic Pool and things like that. So that's where we're headed next. All right.